We're backstage in Calgary and I'm alongside the victorious Dustin Poirier. Dustin, obviously this was a fight that you wanted to run through again. You had the opportunity heading into the octagon. Did you feel like animosity was higher than normal with Eddie? Not so much today walking in the octagon, but during training camp I felt you know, the fire burning that I want to show this guy. I'm, why would you say I quit? That's just so disrespectful to me. I just wanted to go in there. I wanted it to be a bloody back and forth five round fight to show the world and to show Eddie that I have no quit in me. Yeah, well you certainly proved that tonight. Um, let's talk about the beginning of the fight. How close were those submission attempts? There was a guillotine, a couple of guillotines, there was a neck crank. I mean, did you feel like those were close? Um, I felt like the first guillotine I jumped was very close. His arm kind of stopped me from locking my legs. And then uh, I, I lost grip of my hands. I lost the grip, but it was close. But close doesn't count, you know? And his submissions, no, they, they weren't close. Uncomfortable, yeah, but not right. close. You know, there uh, was a big controversy again, and it's with that 12 and 6 elbow. Um, I know that you weren't saying you were hurt by it, however, it's still illegal. Right, I was saying the opposite during the refs trying to stand us up. That's why Eddie kind of reached out. I don't know if he tapped me on the chest or on the face. He goes, I know, buddy. Because I said, no, nah, it didn't land. It didn't hurt. Like, I, mm -hmm. I let the ref know. Mm -hmm. But the ref stood me up and uh, came to the, to the side where he put me and told me that because of the legal, illegal strike, he was taking position away from Eddie. But, I, you know, rules are rules. The, the shot didn't hurt me. It might have been illegal. But th that's what the ref's for. You know, I don't want to get into all mm -hmm. it. I feel like every time I win, something there's something going on, you know, like, uh, but... It's all good. That's always that's always going to be the case. Were you more scared, though, that that opportunity might be taken away from you again in order to get your hand raised because of an illegal strike? I didn't think so. Like when he said stop, I thought he was just going to warn Eddie. You know, I, I, maybe I would have thought that if he would have damaged me with the elbow, but it landed on my shoulder and my neck. I didn't even feel it. Yeah. So well, let's talk about the rest of the fight. You two were like rock'em, sock'em robots for a moment in there. At any time, did you feel wobbled? Did you feel hurt? Never wobbled, but definitely he hit me with a good shot. Um, we exchanged a couple times on the inside, and he throws really loopy shots, mm -hmm. so they get around your guard and hit you around the ears. You know, my legs never went, but I felt like I got hit a few times. Right, and you ultimately finished this fight. You got your hand raised. It was, I'm guessing the exact outcome you were hoping for? Yeah, with, without the controversy would have been nice, <laughs> sure. but uh, I wanted to come out here and finish Eddie. Me and my coach, Mike Brown, thought it was going to be third or fourth round. Thought we were going to soften him, soften him up. I know I threw a lot of power shots at the end of the fight, but the game plan was to touch, move, just ding him up with small shots, cut him up. He wears damage badly, and we knew that. He swells up, gets cut very easily. And uh, a five-round fight, we thought he was going to really swell up and start showing some damage. Yeah, well, it didn't take you five rounds at all to get that done. You know, this is an interesting position at 155 because uh, there's potentially a fight between Khabib and Connor. There's Tony Ferguson who's out. Um, you just defeated number three. You were ranked number four. I'm sure that will change come Monday. It, the UFC says, Dustin, what's your road to the belt? What do you say? I just went down the road to the belt. I'm here. I'm knocking on the door. So that's what I'm waiting on, the door to open. I've, uh, I've earned this. Do you feel like Khabib and Connor, if they fight, you should be no-brainer next in line? I should be next in line. I've paid my dues. I've fought the toughest guys out there. I've, I've got knocked down and climbed back up and won again and again and again. This is my third main event win in a row. And uh, like I said in the octagon, this is my fourth world champion in a row. And uh, I belong with the best in the world, and I've earned my, t my, shot, my shot at the title. Should that fight take place, will you be cage side to uh, stake That's your claim? Big guy. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> yep. Congratulations. Thanks, man. It's been all a long right, road, but we're here. We're here. Great fight. Yes, sir. Excellent. Well, all right. The boss just congratulated you. There's really nothing else that we can talk about. Dustin, I know your family is here. I know you're going to the zoo on Monday. We are going to the zoo. <laughs> Congratulations. Have fun. Safe travels back. We look forward to seeing you back in that octagon. Thank you. I'll Thanks. be back in better. Thank you.